Hey everybody, welcome to the Daytona USA uh, tutorial. This will get you uh, 4K on your computer if you're able to run it that high, possibly even higher if your video card and monitor support it. So I got this running with the uh, DG Voodoo and also Reshade. Reshade is an optional download. You don't need it to run the game at that resolution. But if you do want to, you know, use the advantage of Reshade with the uh, CRT effects and the HQ filter, you can go ahead and download that. So let's get started. Go ahead and pop your browser open. We're going to jump over to two websites. One of them is DG Voodoo. So go ahead and click on DG Voodoo 2. We're going to go ahead and click on the download section and you're going to download the latest version at the time of this video it's 282.1 so go ahead and download that put that in your downloads folder if you want to use reshade we're going to go ahead and jump over to the reshade website also scroll down and you're going to click on download reshade 5.9.2 download that to your downloads folder you can now go ahead and close your browser you're going to go ahead and navigate to the folder that has the files and you're going to extract uh, you know both of those files into your game location folder so once you do that you're going to have your dg voodoo here and the extra folders you're going to double click ms you're going to go into the x86 folder copy those files and paste them inside the game We'll skip that step on mine because I've already done that. Once you have those extracted to the game folder, you're going to go ahead and launch DG Voodoo. The first time you launch it, you may not get the game location on here. So to make sure that it's set to the directory for the game, you're going to click right here on the uh, period and the backward slash. That'll change to the active directory to where the game is at. As long as you launch the DG Voodoo file from that location. So now what you want to do is go ahead and follow all the settings that I have here. So you want to do, if you have direct uh, 3D12, you're going to click that one. If not, uh, you know, just click one of the versions you have available. Uh, you can also just click uh, best available one and see if it works with that. In this section here, you can go ahead and choose if you want to give it scan lines. So you can go ahead and activate that right here by clicking on either that one or the one right below it. You're going to leave everything else here unchecked. You're going to jump over to the RectX tab. Uh, I set the memory 4096 and that worked fine for me. So it may vary on your system, but you can, you know, change it, whatever works. If the 4096 works, then leave it on that one. So that's the highest. And then choose your resolution here. I was able to go into 4K, but I'm not going to do it for the video because, as you know, that'll change the resolution in the video and it'll shrink uh you know the movie when it comes out so we'll leave it at 1920 by 1080 i did set this to 8x 16x here in the filtering you want to leave this checked uh, this is also optional i just put that on there uh, for the heck of it but all these other settings leave them alone then we're going to go in here and this is just the safety to make sure that uh the settings on here match mine so you're going to right click on the dg voodoo logo you're going to pick show all selections of the configuration then you're going to tab over one to here so you want to make sure the settings all match what i have here so you want to make sure that this one is checked because uh, what it did for mine is still going to give it a weird effect but the game is going to work fine when the actual game loads if you leave this unchecked what's going to happen is the game is going to tend to jump from a uh, full screen to the menu and a taskbar coming out so you want to make sure you leave this option here you know chosen with that check mark everything else here alone make sure it matches everything here free mouse and then all the settings you see on here match those you're going to bypass glide because the game doesn't use glide and then on this tab here the direct x extension uh, you're going to make sure that you have this one needs to be off that was on by default you want to uncheck that one you want ms direct 3d device names on smooth you can leave that on i also have the suppress amd blacklist is on that's because i have an amd card 
Uh, you may or may not need that depending on your system setup and then all of the stuff you want it as it shows here. So leave those settings as are. You're going to go ahead and hit apply. I don't need to because I already had it set, but click apply on yours. Then you're going to launch the game and the game should launch for you perfectly. It's going to do like these weird effects that you saw there, but as you can see, it jumped right into the screen. Select a race course. And I'll just do like a super quick here, like maybe Please choose 30 seconds. Automatic transmission. Gentlemen, this is, this is working. Now I am using a uh, image of the original disc, so that's why the uh, music is not playing. But if you have the original disc, just keep it in the CD drive and you should be able to play with the music. Okay, so as you can see, that game is running fine. So I jumped out of there. So now what we're going to do now, this portion here is optional. If you got the game to work correctly uh, with just a DG Voodoo, then you're done with the video. If you want to go ahead and also use Reshade, uh, you can go ahead and extract that, you know, to whatever folder you want. You're going to go ahead and launch Reshade. And then I'm going to show you how to set it up with that. So just go ahead and launch reshade and you should get this option here so you're going to browse over to the folder that has the game click on the game executable click on open you're going to hit next now what you want to do in order to trick it into using the uh, the correct api so reshade will work you're going to pick direct text 12 on here you're going to click next next again and then the two filters that i use one of them is from this one here the sweet effects so check that and you want to go all the way down and pick legacy effects and we're going to use one out of there so once those are checked go ahead and click next then you're going to uncheck here the only one we want to use for this is crt uh, later on you can experiment with the different settings but this is just to get it to work like you saw on the video with these two you know uh, the options checked off so crt on this one go ahead and click next on the next set of effects we're going to uncheck and just pick hq4x we're going to go ahead and click next hit finish and now go back to the folder that has the game if you're going to use the crt effect from reshade you should disable the scan line from the dg voodoo so you can just go back in here and just go ahead and hit uh unspecific on here and don't pick that because then what you're going to do is you're going to have two set of uh scan lines overlapping each other and it's not going to look correct so we'll go ahead and leave that as is we're going to go ahead and click on window you can hit full screen up here and then make sure that nothing's checked on here so you don't get the scan line effect you're going to go ahead and leave everything else the same click apply now when the game launches you should see that the reshade is active And there you go, you see the uh, reshade logo on the upper left for the reshade version number. So go ahead and hit home key. You're gonna go to continue and you're gonna set these. So you're gonna choose advanced CRT and you are going to also pick HQ4X. And then we're gonna play a little bit with the settings here until we get this to come out looking nice. First thing you're going to want to do is set your brightness up to about 1,500, more or less there. And as you can see, the scan lines still don't look good. So we're going to go ahead and adjust those a little bit. Go to the resolution slide here. And you're going to move that up a little bit. I usually like to disable scan line bloom effect and oversample so the scan lines will stick out more. So, and then another thing I recommend is set the HQ first before you do the scan lines. So scroll down to here. You're probably gonna to wanna to set this pretty low because the game is already, you know, it's not really pixelated, so you don't want that too high. So I would try like a 500. 
set that to about five. And now we can go ahead and play with the uh, slider here for the resolution on the CRT effect. And I think that looked pretty good. Let's go ahead and let's let it hit the blue sky. You can see the scan lines better. So that looks pretty good. So go ahead and click finish when you're done. And then we'll just run this for a little bit so you can see what it looks like with the scan lines. Please select the race to enter. Please choose manual or automatic channel to start your engine. All right, niggas, you can see that works perfectly also. So if you follow those settings, you should get the game to look more or less like you saw on the screen now. So we are pretty much done with this one. So go ahead and have fun with that one because I know that was a game that I wasn't play, uh, able to play forever because every, you know, every time I started it, sometimes it would start, the window would you know come in and out, close, crash. When it did run, it, it would run for a couple of minutes and crash. So I was able to get it to work like that, and uh, I actually tested uh, both of the first two uh, tracks, and everything worked fine. So hopefully you guys can enjoy that. Go ahead and leave comments on the section. Uh, please, you know, uh, hit thumbs up if you liked it, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys on the next video.